All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 18 minus 9. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting this as 2 to the power of 18 minus 3 squared. So I'm going to rewrite 9 as 3 squared. Now 2 to the power of 18, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of 9 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 9 times 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2. And now I have this minus 3 to the power of 2. Now from here, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 9, and b is equal to 3. So I get 2 to the power of 9 plus 3 times 2 to the power of 9 minus 3. And 2 to the power of 9, well, 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 64. 2 to the power of 7 is double of 2 to the power of 6, so it's 128. 2 to the power of 8 is double of 2 to the power of 7, so it's 256. And 2 to the power of 9 is 512. So I have... 512 plus 3 times 512 minus 3. And this is equal to 515 times 509. Now, instead of actually solving this like you would with a normal multiplication problem, this is going to take way too long. So there is actually an easier way to solve this. What I'm going to do is rewrite 515 as 500 plus 15 and 509 as 500 plus 9. So now I can distribute the 500 so I get 500 squared plus 500 times 9 plus, now I can distribute the 15, 15 times 500 plus 15 times 9. Now, 500 squared, that's going to equal 250,000. And I have this plus 500 times 9, which is equal to 4,500, plus 15 times 500, which is 7,500 plus 15 times 9, which is 135. Now from here, 4,500 plus 7,500 is 12,000. So I get 250,000 plus 12,000, which is 262,000. And then at the end, I have 135. So I have 262,135. So this is my answer to this problem.